everybody. Welcome back to the Claremont Classic Garage. Let's see what we're doing today. Now that we've uh, wrapped up our racing career and we, we took the car apart, we covered that in a, in a previous video. What I've got left here is the, um, uh, a bunch of engines and parts and cylinder heads and stuff. So uh, what we're going to do, I've got one, two, three engines. We're going to get them all running on our little test stand here. Uh, take a video of them, video the oil pressure, video that there is no bubbles in the cooling system, and we'll do a hot compression test on them. Just so when I go to sell them, people know what they're buying. So here's how we do it. This is the first one. We've got basically, um, uh, we've done this before, but anyway, I'll, I'll run over it again. This is the engine compartment portion of the body harness of the car. And uh, so here's your connections here. Uh, over here on the engine compartment side, there's these uh, black with orange. I think it's black with orange, black with white. You have to ground those. Those are the grounds for the, the PCM. Um, this guy here, this fat uh, red with the white stripe, that is the power feed to the PCM. And these three here, uh, light green with black stripes, those are all your ignition feeds. You twist those together, and then you um, you touch that. Uh, you connect that to the battery, and that brings everything to life. I'll do it here. You'll hear the fuel pump. You'll hear the fuel pump buzz. Hear that? that and you can hear the ASD relay in there clicking. So, um, and then what I did, uh, it's just bolted to this wooden stand with a couple of brackets. And... Uh, to support the starter, rather than using a whole bell housing, I just stacked uh, four set steel separator plates together, not the aluminum ones from the later cars. These are the steel ones from the earlier ones. You stack four of them together, and that's all the strength you need. Holds the starter, no problem. Here's our oil pressure gauge. The uh, fuel system, it's pretty basic. Now, we do not have a regulator in the circuit, so I kind of... Uh, this doesn't really work, so I kind of uh, regulate it with this. Anyway, we're going to get this thing fired up, see how it looks, make sure it charges, and we'll go from there. So here's our first one. And this little engine, this is a really, really good little engine. It's a 99 uh, single overhead cam engine. It came out of a little old lady car. It barely had 100,000 kilometers on it. It had uh, 97 or 98,000 on it. Um, this thing is tight as a drum. It runs super. At one point, I actually took the cylinder head off and put a twin cam head on it because I needed a twin cam engine. Um, I've since put the single cam head back on it. It's the head that it was born with, so it's it's all, you know, made it back together but I'll tell you what this little thing it, it really runs good it's got uh, it's just a stock uh, SOHC engine but it does have a magnum camshaft in it it's got a gutted magnum intake manifold and a magnum stubby header on it and uh, I tell you for just a stock little engine it, it really runs well so we're gonna fire it up now um, make sure it runs good Make sure there's no uh, bubbles in the coolant. We'll check the oil pressure uh, and go from there. It will run um, a little bit funny because I don't have a fuel pressure regulator on it. And I'm not quite sure uh, the oxygen sensor is, is working. Uh, I don't have a check engine light on this. So anyway, but it, it will run. So we're going to go ahead and crank it up. Watch your ears. Alrighty, first thing I have to do is liven up the ignition like that. And uh, this little wire here hits the starter. It doesn't want to idle. Too much fuel pressure. Bastard. There we go. Okay, she's idling now. You can see 
it's charging. Let's look for bubbles in the coolant. is really a good little engine. All right, now while she's hot, we'll get all the plugs out, give it a compression test. Well, that's not too bad. This is just, it's a sweetheart of a little engine. Now we'll put the plugs back in it, uh, start it back up just to clean it out. And uh, then we'll let it cool off, get it off the stand and get the next one on. All right, so we'll just crank it up again uh, one more time to make sure that everything is good before we take it off the stand. So, ah, let's see here. Oh, our uh, meter has turned off. There, we'll turn it back on. Good. Okay. Um, boom, 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 boom. Ignition on. Like that. And let's hit the starter. Number two, this is a, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's all made from junk, but um, it's, a, it's a, a block that I had from somewhere and I found a crank and I found four connecting rods and we put a set of twin cam pistons on them. It's got, um, the oil pump has been fixed up in it. It's got new main bearings, new rod bearings. The block was honed up a little bit and a set of rings put in it. It's got, um, this cylinder head, it's just a plain uh, single overhead cam, standard head. It's not a Magnum, but it does have a Magnum camshaft in it. It's got a stock second gen plastic intake on it and a Magnum header. So we're going to crank this thing up and, uh, and see what we got here. I'm going to have to run it for a little bit because I got to kind of break the rings in and stuff and we'll... Uh, We'll make sure it's got oil pressure and no bubbles in the coolant and uh, that it's charging. It is leaking. There's a bit of a water leak underneath. And what that is, it's that, that plastic piece that goes into the back of the water pump for the, the, the lower rad hose connection. That thing has got an O-ring around it. And when they sit, especially engines that have been run with water in them, it gets a little crusty in there and, and they start leaking. Sometimes, once you get them warmed up and a little pressure... They stop leaking, but we'll, we'll find out. Ignition. Start.
and no bubbles. Now we got it good and hot. We'll uh, pull the plugs out and give it a compression test and see what we've got. Well, that went pretty well. You can see here, 180, 180, 175, 180. That is good. That's a good, healthy short block. And it's got great oil pressure. This is a nice little engine. So I'm going to put the plugs back in. I'll fire it back up for a second just to make sure it, 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 it gets cleaned up because of all that uh, cranking we did. And then we'll uh, take it off the stand and it's ready to be rehomed. Because it's not attached to the other end. There we go. All right, ready? This here is the last one. Um, this one is a, a 2002 Magnum engine. So it's got the RT cylinder head, the flat top pistons for increased compression. And on top of that all, it's got a Comp 200 camshaft, which is uh, basically um, very, very, very slightly um, a little more than a magnum camshaft um, it's got a gates blue timing belt in it and it's got a, i think that's a fidanza um, adjustable timing gear and the camshaft is set four degrees retarded that gives us top end anyway let's crank this thing up and see what happens this is the one that was in the race car the other week for the 50 lapper and uh, as i reported back then it seemed to have a lot of blow by and uh, the compression was a little bit uh, wanting. But anyway, uh, let's crank it up and see what we got. Okay, so here we go. Um, ignition. Yeah, good, perfect. Now let's uh, see if we can crank it up. Oh, duh. <laughs> you gotta plug the computer in if you want it to run. There. She'll run now. My bad. Uh, <laughs> now, where'd those screen wires go? There we go. Okay. I bet it'll go now. After a bunch of wiggling wires and fiddling around with stuff, I got it running again, and at least now it'll idle. Hey, we can see there, there is no bubbles in the cooling system. Very good. So that's awesome. We'll shut it down and give it a compression test. Well, let's see what we got for compression. I know this one's a little bit tired, but we'll see what it's got.
Well, so there we have it. Number four here is probably the culprit that was causing all the blow-by that this thing had. Um, but the other three are, are not too bad. Anyway, it is what it is. It's an old engine, right? Well, there we are. That was fun. We got all three of our engines tested and checked out. And uh, we know what we've got now. So uh, when I rehome them, I know I'm not, uh, you know, I know what I'm selling to people. I, I hate selling junk that, you know, oh man, one time I sold a 440 to a friend of mine that seemed good. It was in a parts car. Well, not really a parts car. It was in a project car. I didn't need it. And uh, I sold it to a friend of mine and the thing turned out to be a total dud. Thank goodness I had one other uh, one that I knew was really good and I just gave him that. He was a friend. He understood. I still feel bad that he had to change the thing twice because I gave him one that was no good. But what are you going to do? That's how it goes. Anyway, the blood suckers are out. Um, I, <laughs> bloody mosquitoes. Uh, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to our channel and continuing to support the Claremont Classic Garage. And I hope you'll come and see us again sometime soon. And until then, this is Kevin saying see you later.